All right, now it's time to talk about SmackDown from February 21st, 2002. The beautiful people. Dude, I think about that riff so much. It's so good. Why is it so good? I don't know. They didn't even use this theme song very long. They used it for Raw as well, like way before this. Not for. They used that for even less time, right? Oh, it was, I don't even know if it was like was it a one month show? or two. Yeah. I feel like it might have been a couple. Like, yeah, there's, but yeah, they used it then. But that was like 90, when did that song drop? Because they, I'm shocked that it came back up in 2002 because that was definitely like 98. Did it come out in 98? I don't, let me see. I'll have to, now I got to look. Uh, yeah, I mean, we absolutely have to know the information here because yeah. uh, it definitely 96. sounds like. 96? 96? Yeah. Wow. You remember Holy that Family shit. Guy episode with Marilyn Manson? Yes, I do. <laughs> remember he was on he was on Celebrity Deathmatch too. Yeah, dude, he was on a lot of shit in like early two thousands, late nineties. Yeah, he was uh He's a big deal. part of pop culture, yeah. Like a little weirdo. <laughs> yeah, a little fucking weasel, dude. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with that guy? <laughs> I don't know. At least he made this fact out intro because this is fucking Yeah, dope. thank Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that used to Oh, that yes. gave me so fired up. That's so good to fired up. Here and here it got me fired up. Rockford, Illinois. Your commentator is Michael Cole, Jerry the King Lawler. Jerry, he was going crazy yeah. tonight, man. Especially for Stephanie McMahon, he was fucking horned out of his mind. Yeah. <laughs> what a lovely little girl! <laughs> what the what fuck? A flower, I'd love to deflower. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> She's married. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, your boss eventually. You weirdo. Yeah, what's going on? Here, Triple H dude? probably booking at this time. <laughs> he's say, he's saying it. Triple H is like ringside. Yo, your wife's kind of fucking hot, bro. Yo, what? Yeah, well, at one point, oh fuck, uh, we're jumping way ahead, but Tim yeah, White just practically are. wants, like, I fuck Stephanie at one point. <laughs> Tim White took liberties as he really got out Dude, of he, he, like, he helps Stephanie off the apron, like, kisses her hand, and then winks at Jericho. Like, what the fuck is going saw on, Tim I White? Saw. Yo, Tim, a little, little weirdo. I'm down here. <laughs> uh, so we kicked off the show. We had Vince McMahon with a cold open. Vinny Mac starts ah. on the show by saying, I'm good in jet. <laughs> no, he doesn't say that. De- <laughs> no, he should have. He did, he did at one well, point. He did, <laughs> <laughs> he did at some point. Uh, this is the era where the NWO comes to WWE and they had the No Way Out pay-per-view. The NWO pay-per-view. <laughs> yes. That was pretty well-timed, though. For real, for real. Like, yeah, it was. They could have debuted at any time. They debuted at NWO. That's pretty cool. And they made them look like complete jabronis. Man, they jabronis oh, use out quick, huh? Wow. It did not take long. They ha- And like, which crazy is, so Vince is cutting this promo. He's talking about what happened on Raw, which we'll talk about later because they do a 10 minute segment going over what happened on Raw. But they did. The, they said it's a flashback and then they played just Raw. They just played Raw. Timestamps. It's not <laughs> flashback. It's Raw. <laughs> Uh, it's the angle where the NWO run a tractor trailer into an ambulance that The Rock was inside of, which, cool fucking angle, and it made it to the video game, which is also Shut your mouth. very cool. Yes. Uh, so, anything that makes it to a video game is worth remembering. Uh, and it, what, I, it was even crazier than I kind of remember, like, the, like, trailer slamming into this ambulance. Like, what a fucking cool visual. Um, Whoa, so Vince is- base Yoshihashi! Vince- <laughs> You got the stick. Loose explosion. <laughs> uh, tacos. Uh, yeah, we may or may not have the New Japan Rambo up also right now. So. Yeah, you may not get running Wrestle Kingdom commentary during this. Sorry about that. Uh, so Vince is talking about uh, punishing the NWO for what they did to The Rock. Uh, you know, they need to be held responsible for their actions and should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So it turns out that the uh, officers of the uh, law... Say that uh, the punishment is funny. community service. <laughs> community and service they have to apologize. Is, yeah, it's an adequate action that they have to do community service, and they have to publicly apologize to not only The Rock, but to all of you. So, what the fuck? Near murder. Uh, and and uh, just apologize and do and pick up some trash. Piece of trash. You know what? It made me... Uh, it, yeah, I was thinking back to the video game the way they show it in the video game is a little different. Maybe I remember it more from the, the game. video game yeah, than I do in my actual mind of what this yeah. was. Because in the video game, it's in the middle of the goddamn street. Out in the middle. Yeah. Of, oh, yeah. no, it's outside of the building. This isn't like the parking lot. But in the game, it's like out front in the regular traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he just runs. He just, just destroys it. <laughs> 
like, I forgot about that. You're right. It's just <laughs> there's like pedestrians walking by. There's just an ambulance there. The rocks being loaded into the ambulance outside the front of a building, and then the NWO just come flying by. Did <laughs> it? <laughs> NWO for life, dude. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait till we get to that part of the show because Hogan was just, I don't even know yeah. what he was on. But yeah, so Vince cuts a promo and then we get the intro to SmackDown. Yeah. Beautiful people, man. People. Oh, this was not used very long, but I swear to God, when people think of the SmackDown intro, this is the one they think of most of the time. I, yeah. Oh shit, Makabe. Uh, yeah, this intro is fucking <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, Oi, fucking Bullet Club. <laughs> <laughs> fucking NWO. <laughs> Fuck out. <laughs> ain't it. So we get to <laughs> we the show with a Kurt Angle promo. And oh, boy. Dude, so 2002, we are in now in the era of not only the you suck chance for Kurt Angle, but we are also in the <laughs> what chance. Oh, my God. This is... This is peak what right here. Like this is this is liberties. Austin takes liberties with the what's later in the show too. It's unbelievable. He's not, dude, he's not even in the crowd and he's still saying it. I, I seriously think he worked himself to a, into a shoot where like he can't stop fucking saying it. He, I don't even think he's <laughs> trying to say it anymore. He just oh, does it. By the way, they uh the beautiful people was used from August 16th, 2001 to May 15th, 2003. Yeah, what a year? Not like maybe like a maybe Cl- almost two yeah that's i feel like it was forever like i don't know like that was just a dope yeah time no it's, i mean down. and that might be because we played the game so much <laughs> yeah that could be it yeah but i mean there's also the one you know it's been a long time <laughs> uh, that's right after it yeah <laughs> that one's good too i like that, <laughs> I like that yeah, one a lot it's too. close it's close <laughs> big show me. hanging out in the lockers in the in the back <laughs> kurt angle sweating <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how big show's in pants backstage <laughs> <laughs> And weird no guy. shirt. <laughs> weird guy here. I don't know what's happening. Kurt running up the stairs. Brock sweating. Kurt yeah, also sweating. Been a long time. <laughs> Everyone's sweating. Why are you so sweaty? <laughs> so Kurt Angle is pissed off and wants to vent his frustrations because he lost his WrestleMania opportunity uh, on Raw this week because of yes. Ric Flair. Thank you, Ric yeah. Flair. Yeah. Don't start with me, people. I'm not in the mood. That's how he starts the promo. <laughs> I'm an Olympic gold medalist. He goes, yeah. this is an open challenge. If anyone in the back has got the gut, you come out and face me right now so I can go Olympic <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> face me in a match so I can show them the definition of pain <laughs> so so Kurt pretty much is holding the show hostage here he says he's not leaving until somebody comes out how did he know anyone was going to come out he also says uh, <laughs> if you don't come out I'm going to come back there who are you going after <laughs> this is an open just, any, just open anyone challenge. you're going to just, just fight somebody <laughs> just anybody back there Taz and maybe. then it's Kane, and not only is it Kane, but it's Kane in the see-through titty outfit. Oh it's my god! I literally wrote that. I wrote down Kurt Angle versus Kane with the nipples. Oh my god! Not only the nipples, he had the see-through titties, and he had see-through thighs as well. This oh is a, a Natalia 2020 gear outfit. The Kane's Kane wearing. was fucking bricked up during this match, bro. Why did he? Why did he have that outfit? Kane was bricked up in this match. I don't Nipples remember out, that. Thighs showing. Yeah. So what's up, baby? I'll face you one on one. Let me get, let me get through that. That beautiful people. <laughs> this was such a weird era for Kane. Not only did Kane come out with the nipples, Kane was doing punch combinations. <laughs> yeah, Kane was, dude. This turns into like if one point this feels like just a shoot wrestling match. So it, it's Kurt versus Kane. I don't even know if there's a like a, this was ever a, a sanctioned official match. There's refs out there, but it's just be trying to break it up for the most part. Um, yeah, yeah. These two are going at it right away. Like usually, like when Kane comes out, I like this a lot about this. Usually when Kane comes out and people are like, "Oh fuck, I'm gonna get fucked." Kurt Angle is so pissed that he goes right after Kane as Kane gets in the ring. He is not showing any fear. Yeah. He's not intimidated in the slightest. And this whole I don't know how long this was going on for, but they just whoop each other's ass this whole time. Uh, then Kurt attacks Kane with a chair. Uh, oh, yeah, it was a DQ. So I guess it was an official match. Uh, well, yeah, Kurt because him, he yeah. hits the German suplex, gets a chair, and then beats Kane's ass with a chair. And they go, oh, <laughs> fuck it. I guess we're not having a match. <laughs> uh, then Kurt's like near the ropes. Kane 
spears Kurt through the ropes and almost kills them both. <laughs> he almost took a neck fuck? bump on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that like was Like the tough. biggie, like uh, when Cesaro did that suicide dive that one time. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's almost exactly what it was. Uh, yeah. Kurt, when he hit the ground, was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it was brutal. Uh, this was fucking cool. So uh, Kane's taking off all the shit on the announcer's table to choke slam Kurt through it. Uh, Kurt reverses it and hits a back suplex. Not even a German, just a back suplex through the table. And that's not it. Dude, that was he awesome. Picked, it was cool. The fucking table exploded, but that was not enough for Kurt. He then picks up Kane and Germans him onto the broken <laughs> table. <laughs> what the fuck? That was cool. I feel like Kurt was taking liberties with this. I think so, too. Kane must have, this must have been a wrestler's court decision. Yeah, I think so, too. They said, Kane got there with your nipples and your thighs. You get your ass beat. Get that sexy ass whooped. <laughs> And then, speaking of taking liberties, Kurt then hits a belly-to-belly suplex on the timekeeper. <laughs> Dude, I was so fucking confused. I, I that was crazy because he was mic'd up and everything. He just took him and tossed him across the fucking way. Like, I was like, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. I liked it a lot. Kurt was primal as hell here. Kurt uh, then attacks. He's not. This is still not done. Kurt attacks Kane's ankle with the chair. He puts the ankle lock on him. Kane is tapping out. This made Kurt look like a fucking Beast, man. Call this was Kurt awesome. Angle. Call me this Kurt was, Angle. He was, he was perked up for sure. Yeah, Kane this was is sexy dirty. as hell. Little Kane was looking kind of crazy. I don't know yeah, what was little, happening here tonight. You little, <laughs> little red, <laughs> like a little flower. <laughs> Big red freak. <laughs> so you are. <laughs> little flower. <laughs> Dude, I love when Kane wiped the announce table clean at the beginning. He's going to put Kurt through the announce table and then he knocks the monitor off and, and Jerry Lally goes, No, I need that. <laughs> I can't see. They're that right in front awesome. of you, Jerry. <laughs> well, they have to sit there the rest of the night like fucking bozos. No yeah, it's even table. better. They come back later, and Cole and King are just sitting there. with. They're doing the Andre shot, because I guess the cameraman didn't want to. I guess he wanted to get the table in the shot, so it's like the Andre angle from the floor, just pointing up at Lawler and Cole without a yeah, table. Yeah, all you see is peckers, dude. Yeah, all you, yeah it's the pecker shot. <laughs> Michael Cole's Jack too. He's big <laughs> arms. Yeah, dude, he was looking crazy with his little hair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we cut to Ric Flair backstage after Kurt Angle goes primal. Uh, no water Flair, bottles, sadly. Flair and Arner, yeah, sadly. <laughs> I didn't have 10 minutes to run this. Flair and Arner. My son. <laughs> they get out backstage. They're watching Kurt Angle go crazy. You know, Flair is the fucking, you know, he's the co-president of the WWF at this point. Co-owner. He's the consortium. consortium. He's the consortium of the WWF. And he goes, yeah, whatever. Kurt Angle's all right. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Undertaker comes backstage. He wants a match with Ric Flair at WrestleMania. Ric Flair, you said, he just, you know, wants to be a businessman. He doesn't want to wrestle anymore. He just wants to be yeah. the co-owner of the WWF. Leave me the fuck alone. Taker asks him if they're going to dance at WrestleMania. And no, I don't want to do anything at WrestleMania. No, I want to stop, go home. dead I want man. To go home. I want to go, go home. away, you and your hoodie and your bandana. <laughs> Dookie! <laughs> Dookie! <laughs> Is that you that said that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> Dookie and the Rambo, Dookie and the Rambo, Dookie and the Rambo, Dookie and the Rambo. Sorry. All right, continue. Dookie. Yeah. So Ric Flair, uh, <laughs> Ric Flair does not want to fucking face Undertaker at WrestleMania. He just wants WCW to be a thing again. Sadly, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> please bring back the horse with my hands cramped in this four position. Please help me. And then Taker, uh, and Lisa Rumi said, turns back and looks at Arnie. Goes, I guess when it came to the horseman. You were the one with all the guts. No. So what? Ron, get the fuck out of the room, bro. Just leave. You're about to take a spine buster at me and take it. You better calm down. Dude, Arn is looking good at this point. He looked great here. He should have, like, they, I am I really can't believe they didn't have, like, one match, at least Flair and Arn against somebody. Like, yeah. he looked I, so good. And and he, I mean, God when he did kid. his spine buster, it even looked good. Yeah, and he hits it like yeah, he hits it on uh, at Mania on Taker, and it's fucking clean. Yeah. Uh, so after that, we get <laughs> SmackDown. Your vote. <laughs> Taz says, or die, vote brother. Or die. What <laughs> <laughs> a die, you motherfucker! Would you come down, down me? That ruled so much ass. I had no clue what was going on. I just saw Taz. I was like, oh, you fucking kidding me? I was very lost. I don't know what was what? happening. Then yeah, SmackDown. Are we, your vote. Were we voting for George W. Bush at this point? Is that who we're voting so. for? SmackDown. Yes, your vote. Yeah, George vote Bush. W, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys go out there in February 2002. Get your ass out there and vote. Don't yeah, forget. Smack, 
SmackDown your vote, actually. Uh, so we come back. Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole are sitting there. The camera makes sure to get as much wiener as humanly possible. <laughs> Cock and balls. Here. So they, they're like, of course, they're talking. They're like, damn, we can't believe this fucking big red bastard just got his ass whooped by Kurt Angle. You look kind of sexy, though. Yeah, I don't know what was that dude's nipples, but they got me bricked. I was like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's crazy. And this is where we start the WWF Jesus. flashback. Dude. This is not any regular flashback. No. They literally played at least 15 to 20 minutes of Raw just straight up. <laughs> yeah, like, this is, there's only been one match on the show and it ended with ZQ. Now we're getting a 20 minute recap of Raw. The poison has arrived. <laughs> Every time they show a new clip, also, I don't know why they did this. Instead of just saying, oh, this happened at the pay-per-view, last Sunday, 8.01 p.m. <laughs> what the f- Why did they have a timestamp for everything here? I kind of wish they was all like that. I need to know the time. It makes it a little cooler to me. <laughs> Do you need to know? I don't think it this had any relevance on what happened. PM. Yeah, it did. <laughs> to me. I wish I wish they would have just, just lied. Like, who do you, how do you even know they're telling the truth? You tell me that they knew for sure that Hogan uh, cut a promo putting himself over at 9.52 p.m. on Raw. <laughs> yeah, they had to check it three times and they gave it to the police. <laughs> so the NWO debuts at the No Way Out pay-per-view. I always yes. thought it was weird that the NWO debuted at this pay-per-view and then the pay-per-view was just a big, big road sign. <laughs> Yeah, so, but, well, there's tractor trailers there, too. Yeah, I, I don't know what the deal is with this. I thought they were going to go... Maybe I thought they were going to go a little more in on the NWO, but I guess at this point, WCW had been dead for quite a bit, so maybe they thought, like, it would And they wanted it to die more. even more. Yeah, maybe they thought it, they just wouldn't have as much hoopla than if they would have yeah. came in immediately when WCW sure. folded. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think that was the fucking case, man. I, I, I feel like they could have... Treated this a lot different, but uh, it still made right, for dude. The NWO coming to WWE it was like the dream of every wrestling fan at that time, like at, at that watched during that time. You're telling me they couldn't? They could have got a year out of that. Yeah, but for some reason they had him debut at No Way Out and go, "Hey man, we're just here to kind of hang out, you know, we're just whatever." And you get know, beat up was by the, all their that top was guys. the big thing. Vince goes, "I'm gonna inject a <laughs> lethal dose," and Hulk Hogan goes, uh, "Hey brother, we just want a job." <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, it's not even like it's like two months later, and all of them lose at Mania. <laughs> and then Hogan goes, "Yeah, whatever." You know, I'm kind of done with this whole NWO. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> Damn, dude, he played these dudes hard. Yeah, he just wanted a contract, uh, bro. He just wanted a job. So at, at the No Way Out pay per view, Austin faced Jericho for the undisputed title. The NWO interfered, costing Austin the match, and they spray painted NWO on Steve Austin's back. And St Scott Hall did a diamond cutter. <laughs> And I love that Austin never, ever gave Scott Hall anything on any of those stunners, no! bro. Ever. He None didn't of get, them. Scott Hall gave gave Austin some of the best stunners he ever did. Austin didn't even bump for them things. He didn't even, he didn't even think about it. made sure they look like shit every time. He never hit one good one ever on, no! on Austin. Ever. Yeah, that was crazy. I couldn't believe that. Oh, then at 9.04 p.m. on Monday, Austin <laughs> cut a promo. Austin comes out, calls him out on Raw. They come out. And then they just leave. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then at 9.17 p.m., uh, Stone Cold's getting arrested. <laughs> and Scott Hall says, have a nice night in jail. But then at 9.39 p.m., Hogan tells Hall and Nash to head out. They were all going to leave in a limo. Times? Did you write these times down? Yes, motherfucker. Oh, they put God. them on the screen, and I'm making sure the that they down. know oh, that they put God. these in the promos to convince me that at 9.17, oh, they did that. And then at 9.39, Hogan told Hall and Nash to leave in Yo, the limo because he had mask. something to say. Tiger mask. Oh, shit, look at that. Whoa. Uh, uh, at 9.52 p.m., Hogan cut a promo. Putting himself over. <laughs> he just talks about himself the whole time. There will uh, never be a bigger star than me, brother. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm really good, brother. Don't worry about Hall and Nash, dude. <laughs> he, he told his friends to go home so he could put himself over. <laughs> Fuck. Look, I really need this job, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of kids, dude. Linda's draining me, bro. <laughs> Alimony. <laughs> Jay Law. Alimony. <laughs> I know about that. What? <laughs> uh, the Rock interrupts, but they didn't tell me what time it happened at, so it really fucked up my timeline. <laughs> oh no, no times. They didn't, they didn't when did tell the Rock me. Arrive? When did the they Rock didn't show say. up? Uh, the Rock challenges Hogan to a match at Mania, uh, and then the Rock hits the Rock bottom on Hogan, and NWO attack Rock at 10:07 at p.m. <laughs> oh, thank you. We got time. Just, then it took from they whooped his ass from 10.07 p.m. to 10.18 p.m. when The Rock is getting loaded into the ambulance. <laughs> so it was quite the beatdown. Yeah, I, it was funny because like they're trying to set up for the Hogan versus Rock match at Mania, 
uh, The Rock, you know, The Rock goes, you know, what about a match with The Rock? That's one of the most iconic moments ever. And then Hogan yeah. said, no. And then it ends up, <laughs> that match never happens. Hogan leaves wrestling, The Rock goes to TNA, and then he immediately meets the requirements for a pay raise from Jeff Jarrett, which is fucking one in a two shot. Is the, he 50% is the Rock. 50% chance. <laughs> Imagine a world where that was really what happened. He's at the meeting. He's sitting there. Rikishi's off to the side because he got the recommendations. He's like, you know what? You can't take me. I got just the thing. He stands to the side, raising the roof as The Rock is being interviewed by Jeff Jarrett. And he says, hmm, you actually check one of these bucks. Look at the list. Hmm. You are is The Rock. Is he The Rock? Yeah, you are The Rock. You know what? You're in. That would be an awesome timeline. Probably better than the actual timeline. God. God. How did that? That's fucked up, man. I wish we like had a, a more pull in wrestling around that time. <laughs> what about match with the Rock? No, brother. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> I want Austin. <laughs> the fuck are you? <laughs> that's why we're beating up Austin. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what do Austin is, dude? We're doing an Austin angle. Rock, go away. <laughs> they, Hogan didn't want to wrestle Rock so much. He tries to kill him. <laughs> So, 10, 18 p.m., The Rock is loaded into the ambulance, and then it, uh, it's driving away, and it gets stopped by a tractor trailer. Uh, and the NWO is back in a limo. They never left. The NWO attacked the ambulance. The EMT's running away. It's just straight out of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, it is. It truly is. Uh, just smashing with, a, with pipes and tire irons. Uh, the NWO then chained the back of the ambulance to keep The Rock in there, despite the fact that The Rock is strapped to a stretcher. <laughs> he was not going anywhere. He's on the gurney the whole time, yeah. He was, as this is going on. Uh, and then they run this trailer into the ambulance, and what does Hogan say before this, James? Oh my god. Alright, so <laughs> Hogan... Dude, I swear to God, he don't even know what he's saying. He's just saying <laughs> words. He's just doing... Just hitting the fucking lines to the, the sound bites. <laughs> Yeah, so he they they slap up this this ambulance with all the 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 stuff, make sure he doesn't get out or whatever. Hall locks the doors shut, and then Hollywood goes into the big rig, and right before he does it, he, he pats him on the back, and he goes, "Hey, let Hollywood lay the smack down on his crippled ass NWO style for life." <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Let Hollywood lay the smack down on his crippled ass NWO let me tell you style something, brother. for life. <laughs> What the fuck? Why you let the thousands mean? and millions of NWOites run all over his ass, dude, for life's too for sweet? Life. <laughs> too sweet. <laughs> oh, NWO for life. Just everything was for life. <laughs> what did that mean? How about you go one on one with The Rock? No. All right. Well, how about for life? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he starts talking up. <laughs> what about a match with The Rock? <laughs> no. <laughs> for life, no. <laughs> never. Don't ever talk to me again. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna. I don't want to wrestle you so much. I'm gonna have my friends hit you with this trailer for life. <laughs> 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 well, you were, like the us, come on, ass. NWO style for life. He said that with a straight face. I mean, you are 40 something years old at this point. Just he's unbelievable. So, he's so tan. God, he is incredibly tan. You know what's even more fucked about this? They hit the rock with this trailer. The rock comes back in like a week. <laughs> Mania's in three weeks. You got one on one with the rock. <laughs> he fucking gets pissed, slammed with his trailer. How's he not dead? He's I don't know when he comes back, but he's in time for Mania. Dude, <laughs> and he we, wins. <laughs> we saw we saw Triple H fucking die at Survivor yeah. Series. He got and flipped he upside down. He took like two weeks off and then came back. So like that's what happened here. Yeah, there's something in the water that's, out there. I don't know. Unbelievable for life. <laughs> yeah, at least they got the match out of it where the crowd was super into it. That's an all-timer. That's when wrestling ended for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was literally the season finale of the WWE. Everything, every, yeah. <laughs> everything after was some the, shitty spinoff. The series finale. <laughs> Every, after that, everything was just like non canon hey, too. This put, sucks. Put it aside. Bam, non canon. <laughs> this is the Netflix version. Get this fucking shit out of here. The live action <laughs> WWF movie. Get the fuck out of here. For life. This is the NWO style for life version. Get this fucking shit out of here. 
<laughs> this shit sucks. <laughs> Dude, so Hogan uh, hits him, hits the ambulance, but not only once, he hits it three times. At oh, least yeah, three. that's right. What's in, up with I, that? I think in my head, it wasn't that many times because I thought in the games, it was just them replaying it. Yeah, I, you're right. Like a, like a slow-mo kind of... Yeah, like they go just back, just different angles. Like it's the same spot, but just different angles. But I Which guess it was makes it even crazier times. that Rock comes back so quickly. Yes! <laughs> they destroyed the ambulance, and then Rock said... Do you want to go one on one with the Rock at WrestleMania? <laughs> he pops his head out of the ambulance. <laughs> the Rock says, "NWO style for life." I didn't get an answer. <laughs> that would have been way actually way fucking cooler than what they did. He pops out the back of the gurney. <laughs> the Rock says, <laughs> the, "The ambulance doors got busted open, so his gurney rolls out of the back of it." He pops his head up, eyebrow raised. <laughs> so, do you want to go? <laughs> One on one with the great one. No, dude. <laughs> the Rock can't. The Rock literally can't talk unless he's cutting a promo. So that's all he can do. I don't want to wrestle you ever for life. <laughs> I'm going to TNA now. Bye. <laughs> I would love so so to draw that. Just the 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 Rock just peeking his head of a busted ass ambulance. The Rock says. <laughs> Do you want a match with the great one? No. How about a match with the rock? His bloody, busted up head peeking out of the ambulance. Bags the fucking shit up and hits him again. <laughs> fucking please. Runs over his head. Just gets his, right back up. His beheaded rock head rolling around. What about now? <laughs> this is fucking Evil Dead. This is a Sam Raimi movie. <laughs> I'd, I'd watch that. He clips that. his head to his fucking waistband. The Rock still wants that match. <laughs> the millions. <laughs> so that was all a flashback. None of this actually happened on this show. <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't on SmackDown happened. at all. So that didn't happen at all. Uh, now we get to the NWO public apology. Um, this is where this is part of their uh, gimmick they have to do, where they have to do community service and they have to publicly apologize. Yes. By law. So NWO comes out with a piece of paper. A very scripted apology, and yes. Michael Cole really says it a lot. He said, "This is scripted. This is scripted. This whole show is scripted." He's, Michael Cole says they're reading from a prepared statement. They don't even mean this. <laughs> yeah, no shit, bro. Yeah, no, no kidding. <laughs> Kevin Nash starts it off. Uh, it's really just a bunch of bullshit. It's very boring, to be honest with you. It's, um, yeah, it's it's what you think it would be. What a prepared apology. So then he hands it off to uh, Scott Hall, and I was really hoping that Scott Hall would get the paper and look at it, and he go. Hey yo! <laughs> How is it, really it says open, right here. Lord. Survey time. <laughs> <laughs> Hogan has a good line here, though. He says, "Uh, Hogan says, Rock, I hope you can forgive me, <laughs> like I have forgiven you for attacking me first." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hogan's part was the best part. They didn't even give That's anything to Nash at all. That was pretty good. Uh, the NWO here just look like complete fucking geeks. Like, good lord. Uh, yeah, they're. Tough. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I wouldn't have did it this way, but you know. No, oh, yeah. So, anyways, the glass breaks. Stone Cold's about to go beat somebody's ass. Oh so, hell yeah! Stone Cold drives into the arena with his truck and his crowbar through the set. Yeah, that was it. dude. That's where Undertaker comes out from later too. Yeah, it's yeah. Through, so like, I the, didn't even know that this, was there. This is the glass shattery uh, SmackDown Fist era. So this he drives mm -hmm. like right through the shattered glass part of the stage and it looks. Fucking it moves cool. it too. Yeah, it was yeah. Fun. It's cool. Yeah. Dry, this is not like a slow drive in, like Eddie Guerrero style. He is barrel <laughs> rolled the fucking entrance way. Yeah, <laughs> and he he jumps out. The NWO is running away from this one man, of course. Uh, Austin gets out with a tire iron, <laughs> just whooping ass. Nash and Hogan get away. Scott Hall does not get away. Austin just beating him with his tire iron. Ho uh, Hall. Gets his ass whooped. Hogan and Nash uh, go backstage and leave. Uh, <laughs> and they leave. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> but then Austin gets into the truck and they they get Hall. But I, see, I don't know. This was confusing to me. So I thought I was like, okay, he's just going to steal Hall here. Austin gets back in this truck and he's going to back the truck up into Hall. But Hogan and Nash get Hall and they go backstage together. But mm -hmm. that's not. Eventually they lose him somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it literally from the stage to the next cut. <sighs> Scott Hall, I think, tripped and fell, and then they just left him there. Yeah. They didn't show that, though, did they? No, no, of course not. Okay. They just, yeah. So they ran yeah. into the room, and Scott Hall wasn't there. It's kind of like yeah. Left for Dead when you make it to the last room. You make it to the last room, <laughs> and you're like, there's yeah, that one guy who got caught. See the bodies like, on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, that one guy got caught by the damn one on the roof, and you're just like, yeah. oh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> get this getting... guy. So Stone Cold tried to run him over the truck. It cuts back from commercial. Uh, NWO's backstage. They're trying to get into their limousine that's been vandalized. <laughs> Hogan walks up to the limo and goes, what? 
and it pans <laughs> over to the limo, and there's a big what on it, which was just <laughs> that fantastic. Was pretty, that was really yeah, good. That was too. great. <laughs> That was like the funniest thing on the whole show, to be honest. That was like yeah. real, like office level first season shit. It doesn't even season. feel like I feel like they didn't even think. I think that was Hogan's like actual, actual just response, and it just happened. And it says what? what on the side of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So after that, it cuts to uh, tonight. SmackDown is brought to you by Truth, which I guess is an anti-smoking thing. We also have the Resident Evil movie, the very first one, I believe. Yes. Um. Which actually isn't a bad movie. I don't think I saw it. Oh man, you gotta check it out. It's cheesy as fuck. But Vote yeah, for it for SGH. Yeah, we should. Someone do that. Uh, and Hungry Man, one pound of meat. <laughs> <laughs> for men, only for men. No women. Don't eat this Dude, shit if you're I a woman. I forgot how popular these meals were back in the day. Like, these things were crazy. Do they still popular. exist? Yeah, dude, you can get the Hungry Man's at the store right now. Hell yeah, we should get that with some stacker too. There's a guy on YouTube that reviews meals. Um, God, okay. what's his name? Oh, wow. I'm not going to be able to remember now, but okay. I watch him all the time. He's a funny yeah. dude. Um, he reviews these uh, old time like meals sure. like this. Not only Hungry Man, but like Stouffer's and like Kid Cuisine. And, okay, yeah, yeah. God, it's just like wow. Some of this food is fucking. It reminds, just... It's not LA Beast, but it's a guy like that, right? Ah, uh, it Hungry... is Brutal Moose. That's what it is. Brutal oh, Moose. okay, okay. Yeah, he's a he's a real funny dude. He puts in a lot of like uh, sound effects, like when he eats sure. food or he presses like. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's funny. And you get to look <laughs> back at, like, it's funny because I grew up on these. I used to eat these all the time, like cake cuisine yeah. and shit. And, like, well, you're stacking too, like, and you're It looks like goop, bro. It's just goop. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. It's, you want uh, some of this apple dessert? It doesn't even have a it's name. It's very wet. Apple dessert. <laughs> you Hunger have to Man's go away, but it's very wet. Yeah. So after that, we get Edge versus Christian. Uh, this is a singles match. I'm guessing they yeah. had broken up at some point in the past year. I, uh, I want your opinion on this pyro. Okay. Because I wasn't sure if it was a word. Okay. Well, first off, Never gonna stop me. Never gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So not only was it Rob Zombie, but Christian had Christian, Christian. Yeah. Dude, nah, 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 that rules. Nah, nah, nah. That yeah. riff goes crazy too. It does. Um, so Edge good music here. Absolutely fantastic at this Dude, point. Dude, Edge is jacked. So Christian comes out the exact fucking opposite. He's got a mesh shirt on, and he's <laughs> is that Kane's gear on? <laughs> yeah, this is Rob right here. Um, so Christian comes out, and yeah, his pyro was uh, fucked up, <laughs> like. You know, he has the reigning pyro. Like, I guess if if you weren't watching back then, it's the Randy Orton pyro. Like, the raining down gold from the entranceway. Yeah. Um, and, like, only, like, maybe a foot of it. Were, like, it doesn't cover the whole thing. It covers just one side, kinda. And he comes out and sells it. But, like, if this was on purpose, why? Just because the story is he's a loser, so everything goes wrong for him. Is that what it was? Yeah, that's this all I was could this was definitely uh, definitely a gimmick. So okay, um, Christian comes out and the the pyro is real fucked, fucked up. I mean, it's like uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's like when we watched that TNA episode and it just went. <laughs> <laughs> Except for this was a gimmick and that was a shoot. Um, so Christian comes out. And he looks at his pyro. He's fucking pissed off. He pitches a fit about it on the stage and then <laughs> runs down. Yeah, it runs down the Ed, ramp because Edge gets the. Edge gets Rob Zombie, the smoke he just got, and Christian comes he out. He gets everything. Just, <laughs> 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 he's pissed off. Um, this is way deep into Christian's I'm a big baby gimmick. Um, and they, they end up having this match, which is pretty all right for the most part. Yeah, um, it was they okay. They, they didn't do, do anything, anything crazy. Right. No, it's, uh, there is one thing that I feel like you and I both have been wanting to talk about. <laughs> um, Edge uh, locks in a submission move. Now... You listening uh, at home right now or wherever you where you call wherever you want. Uh, if I tell you Edge won with a submission, I want you to in your head think of what the name of that move is. Because I think we all kind of know. It's, boom, you know, boom, boom, even, boom, boom, even if you call it the wrong thing, you probably were closer to what Jerry Lawler called it here. <laughs> they were really trying uh, to drive this home too, huh? Yeah. Jerry Lawler uh, refers to this move. The educator is what the actual move. Refers to it as the figure four edge lock. And it wasn't just like a passing comment. Like he doesn't just say figure four edge lock. He says, ah, figure four edge lock. Isn't that right, JR? Isn't that figure four edge lock? Isn't that right? and yeah, like, JR calls it that too. JR yeah, says it's this too. Oh yeah, this is Cole there. Yeah, Cole, Cole's there like, are many people uh, calling it sure. the figure four edge lock. <laughs> yeah, I heard backstage that they're calling it the figure four edge lock. <laughs> I've seen it a lot recently. A lot of people Fuck. are calling it the figure four he edge lock. He says it so many goddamn times and it doesn't stick, obviously, because somebody must have heard him say this and say, that sounds fucking lame as hell. Figure I don't four know, edge man. lock. I, I, I heard in all my next videos with Edge that I'm always going to call it that. From what <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I know it me. from now on as 
use that. So, so that's you're what right. I've known it as from the future, <laughs> starting now. Is the figure four that's edge. A Mandela effect. It was always the figure four edge lock. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna clip that one part of it. I'm be like, look, it, it is this. You piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, figure four edge lock, uh, edge wins, and then Christian uh, gets on the mic, he's crying, he's cuts a promo, he says, I guess you're expecting me to throw a temper tantrum, huh? And everyone's like, yeah, fuck you! you yeah, Christian goes, you want me to piss my pants, huh? You maybe, maybe shit and come? <laughs> well, how about I just quit? <laughs> I'll do you one better. <laughs> I quit. So then Christian, Christian shitted it and farted it and yeah, covered and all over the, the fucking ring. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Whipped out his and Johnson. Ben said, maybe I was wrong about that guy. Goddamn, pal. <laughs> that guy gets shittered, pissered, and covered all He'll on the same He'll do anything with his business that he loves. <laughs> <laughs> he can shit and piss and come for life, dude. <laughs> End of your that, style. That's what NWO style for life is. <laughs> NWO style for life is NWO shit or pissed or come. This podcast is NWO style for life. Too sweet. <laughs> I'm just too sweet. <laughs> they, oh, yeah, they said, he said, man, I guess Edge just wasn't good to his brother tonight. I said, oh my God, I totally forgot that oh, yeah. everybody in the tag division was brothers. They had to be because the Dudleys and the Hardys were brothers. <laughs> so everybody they got to be brothers. Shoot yeah. brothers at, to, to WWE. I liked wrestling better when everyone was brothers. When was the last Me time too. they. When was the last time they did the, like a fake brother tag team? That doesn't happen anymore, does it? No, it doesn't. They don't even try with that, yeah. I guess it's yeah. just because everyone knows too much that they don't yeah, even bother. Yeah, probably. But I would definitely do well, it. Well, like... they, they did do Jason Jordan being Kurt Angle's son. <laughs> and they ran with it, too. That's fucked. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, so after Edge and Christian, we cut backstage to the NWO. Um, Hall and Nash... Uh, well, I guess Nash and Hogan are still running yes. away from Austin. Hall is, I'm guessing Stone Cold somehow got him. Uh, Nash and Hogan don't even look for Scott. At first, uh, Kevin's like, yeah, maybe we should look for him. And Hogan goes, yeah, yeah, we should look for him. And he goes, no, no, never mind. Scott is resourceful. We don't need to do it. He'll yeah, figure it out resourceful. himself. resourceful. That's That was just chill, he says. Uh, Steve Austin then is walking up to a walk-in freezer. He opens the door up, and Scott Hall is bounding back <laughs> to this chair. <laughs> He has, he has tape over his mouth. He's looking disheveled. Austin says, is it cool enough in here for you? What? <laughs> you call, you calling off, son? You don't mind if I drink a beer, do you? Is that going to upset you? What? Am I going to offend you if I drink a beer? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just want to drink one beer. What? Yeah. <laughs> Where's your little friends? What? Where's your little friends? What? <laughs> want to come into the WWF and ruin my title shot? <laughs> what? He said, you want one of these? And then he, he he grabs two beer bottles. He opens one and drinks one. And then he says, you want one of these, son? And he puts the beer bottle on Scott's shoulder, but it obviously is keeps rolling off. So Austin, like, replaces this <laughs> on his shoulder, like, three Boop. different times. Boop. And then he's also, Boop. he keeps playing with Scott Hall's hair this whole promo, too. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of, yeah, it was kind of creepy, honestly. A lot of this was it creepy. It was weird. I don't know what was going on. So Steve just ends up leaving him locked in the freezer. And, uh, well, I guess we'll see what happens next. Great. Uh, we get to maybe, that's not even a maybe, this is easily the best match of the night. Uh, the Hardy oh Boys God. and Rob Van Dam versus Lance Storm and the Dudley Boys. Yes. Six-man tag action. What the fuck was Matt Hardy wearing during his entrance? <laughs> He's wearing a big pervert trench coat. <laughs> he was swagged out of his mind. He said, I gotta have something. I can't have nothing. <laughs> he didn't need nothing. The Hardy Boys come out. Rob Van Dam comes out. Lance Storm comes out. Yeah, we're coming down. Coming down. Dang, I can't dang, believe dang. it. Not only is it, oh god, yeah, we're coming down. All of a sudden, <laughs> the Duchess of oh, Dudleyville. Oh boy, dude, I laughed. I cried. I fist pumped the air. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. For this life. is the greatest night. <laughs> This she is look, truly NWO style for life. She did look fantastic. I will give you that, dude. But you know. Trish I just, just couldn't even believe this, brand, this dude. So. We got Rob Van Dam. Whoa. We got, yeah, we're coming down. <laughs> and we got the Duchess all at one time. Oh my this, God. Like you said, this. So, did I, for some reason in my mind, I don't remember RVD not having Pyro. So that was weird. He just didn't have Pyro during his entrance. Yeah, he didn't. But he still had the cool songs. So it was all good. And yeah, this was, is an all time RVD attire for me. Oh, like the green God. RVD text. Yeah. I think it's tough like to it. pick my favorite because he has so many good ones. Like, I feel like they just always are good. Yeah, I think they are too. I think he just had a really good artist, and I think his designs were evil, are uh, pretty easy. This uh, is they also were just like let me get some dragons and some uh, <laughs> yeah, peace, put... yin yang signs. And <laughs> Whoa, you put some fucking stuff on there, dude. Hey, dude, <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> 
go medieval or whatever. Cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you have two belts? <laughs> Whoa, look at that fucking dragon. <laughs> you should put Fonzie on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sabu, I think so too. <laughs> So Jeff Hardy also, uh, I think this is all. I think Jeff Hardy wore this and shut your mouth because it was the hat with the ponytail, uh, the pigtails through them. Yeah, dude, I uh, I could not believe. I was like, <laughs> damn, I forgot that. Yeah, what the fuck is this? <laughs> See this fucking guy? <laughs> yeah, this is fuck right here, dude. <laughs> fucking Albert Einstein. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Sorry, this new fucking, fans. Off. This fucking guy's in base world, man. That's crazy. <laughs> He's got the cute. chain too, chained out of his mind. <laughs> Yo, what in the... You're fucking wow. up the review. <laughs> Jeff Hardy's got the hat on with... Stop typing in the chat. <laughs> See, Tony's here. It falls apart. Oh, my God. The boot cut. <laughs> wow. Oh All right. God. So, anyways. Uh, Jeff yeah, Hardy so Jeff Hardy with, with the, the hair. Hat. Jeff, okay, the hat and the hair. Yeah, he wrestled yes. the whole fucking match with the hat on. I think yeah. that's so crazy, man. Just I was impressed. wrestling with a dad hat on. That's how, did that, how did he keep it on? It, it, the hair must have been uh, holding it down or something. Holding it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holding it down. <laughs> uh, uh, Matt Hardy went brolic in this match. I uh, do was breaking shit. out moon salt like it won't nothing. I mean, like yeah. just a completely different kind of beast back in two thousand two. Um, yeah. There's a reason that he always got shot after shot at this point, and they always sure. want to do something with him because not only was he not afraid to change stuff up, uh, he was also a very underrated worker. Truly, he was cool. Yeah. Um, the finish of this match, th this match was fun, but the finishing sequence of this was real fucking crazy. They went like a mile a minute for like two minutes. Uh, RVD goes up top to do the five star. Stacy crotches him on the top rope, so Lita <laughs> goes to attack her, but then Devon stops Lita from attacking Stacy. Devon goes to hit Lita. Matt blocks it. Goes for the twist of fate. Then they uh, he gets shoved off, and then out of nowhere, three D. Just it was 3D. such a clean three D too. Like it was split second, they had to be in the perfect spot to hit this three D. Uh, then they cover Matt. One, two. Jeff hits the Swanton. Uh, Lita hits the Lita Canrana. RVD hits the five star. One, two, three. What a goddamn finish. Not only did he have to he hit the five star, he had to change his way that he was moved because Lance yeah. Storm was not. And maybe that's what made this so fucking cool was that Lance Storm was not in the right position for this. No. And like RVD just went with it anyways. And like yeah. he went up to do the five that's star and he had to turn like 180 to hit yeah. Lance Storm correctly. And he it still cool. gave him the move right. Everything went great. It made it look even better. Lita's Lita Canrana is fucked because like she's like the only one i know that she legit, whips yeah she legit throws her entire body out um yeah which makes it look like it makes her look incredibly long it's yeah. it's really a different looking uh, uh run off it's, the top it's more like a head scissors but just from how it's done it's so it is real weird you're right she like puts her entire weight into it like you know yeah. it always looked dope too and the way they said yeah. this finish was fantastic i yeah, love I this match it. it was good yeah. like this was a reminder of how good everyone in the mid card was at this point yeah. like just real good stuff it's pretty dope so nwo is backstage again it's not too much here just hogan and hall kind of looking for or hogan and nash looking for scott hall uh just kind of moving around they left the room yeah. and now they're like oh i guess we should go look for him. uh then we have the wwf whack of the night <laughs> tobacco is wacko is this another truth thing because that's butt out now.com was tobacco is wacko yeah that was tobacco that was is one. wacko yeah the whack of the night is uh, kurt getting hit with a pedigree <laughs> it's kurt getting his ass whooped it's my time it's my time <laughs> triple h is going to mania baby hell uh, yeah after the whack of the night we get rick whack flair this. backstage rick flair's backstage he's talking to somebody on the phone uh yeah. trying to figure out what to do next he's like is wcw coming <laughs> trying back to put, or not trying what to put the horseman back together <laughs> he's like hey what y'all doing man you trying to get in there <laughs> so man says what's going on in here she comes in the room and bends down to make sure her titties aren't shot see what's going down with big ricky all good god she is uh looking nice <laughs> Real Stephanie nice. McMahon is pissed that Triple H is going to Mania. Thanks for nothing, Rick. You didn't help us here. You bitch. Stephanie Stephanie hears the toilet go off and she's like, oh, what do you got? Arn Anderson in here? But Your little horseman what? buddy. It's actually Triple H taking his shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping a big deuce. Triple H comes out and says, Whoa, you're my wife. <laughs> you, guys, you know what they say, Stephanie? Life is a peep. And then you marry one. Uh, and then she leaves. She storms out, and Flair, as she's leaving, says, Don't leave mad. Just leave. Ah. 
<laughs> Sammy says, damn, they do say that. They do say that. They do say that. <laughs> that line. I heard it before. Somewhere. Whoa. Uh, so after that, we got to Scott Hall and Stone Cold again. And Stone Cold is just going to fucking town with this dude. I mean, he, he is, is just taking, taking liberties with Liberties what? to the fullest extent. He's pushing it's Hall crazy. around in a chair. He says, you want to go on a ride with Stone Cold, huh? <laughs> What? He gets right in Hall's face, who has tape over his mouth, and he says, "If you want to go on a ride with Stone Cold, give me a hell yeah." What? He goes, "He goes, give me a hell yeah." What? <laughs> so, I didn't hear you. You didn't say nothing. <laughs> and then he's just rambling. He says, "Those three letters on your chest are they supposed to impress me? What? Intimidate me? What? If it does, it don't. What?" what? <laughs> Legitimate what? <laughs> Legitimate what, what noises? You <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> go pay you big son of a bitch. What? <laughs> Stur- Scott Hall's chair starts randomly rolling away, and then Steve grabs the chair. And he turns it back around. You look at me when I'm talking, you son. <laughs> He Scott says, Hall doesn't uh, do anything this whole fucking night. He no, just he doesn't there. sell. He just stares. He's like drunk. <laughs> He's already drunk. <laughs> you got the second hands. Honestly, drunk. you could be my designated driver. I can't drive. I've been drinking. That'd be stupid. Responsible <laughs> Stone Cold's my favorite Stone Cold. <laughs> what? <laughs> takes him again away. He takes him away again. And then what is up next, my friend? The WWF <laughs> Stacker 2 Burn of the Week. <laughs> Not only. Is it the stagger to burn of the week? But the commercial is Taz in the Sopranos. Oh my stopping, god! Stopping a tractor trailer full of stagger two <laughs> motherfucking gavagoo. They're gonna steal this whole fucking truck. They Why also is had addiction. Understandable. With them? <laughs> so uh, the stagger two burn of the week is the APA beats Billy and Chuck at No Way Out, and they'll meet the tag team champions at WrestleMania. Yes. Well, guess what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Billy Surprise. and Chuck will see you at WrestleMania. Yeah. So we get NWO backstage again. Hogan is walking around with a big shovel, which is very on the nose. I, just <laughs> real good shit here, honestly. Nash is carrying around a pipe to lay some. So then we get Taz and Spike Dudley, who are the WWF tag team champions at this point, yes. versus Billy and Chuck. Um, for Taz the tag and titles. Spike, maybe the tag champions uh, for only a short amount of time, right? Yeah, I, I'm. Yes, because oh, I yeah. swear they well, yeah, because they lose him here. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have him for long at all. No, and I don't think so either. They didn't make it very convincing either. <laughs> they no. come out, they say they beat Test and Booker. I know fucking blue out. <laughs> they beat him. Taz is out here all jacked up on Stacker too. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, the APA are watching backstage very uh, nonchalantly, just watching the monitor uh, as this match goes on. That's a good job, uh, man. It was a match. Taz locks in the goddamn me, but Billy breaks it up. Uh, Spike goes for the Dudley dog. It gets countered uh, by Billy, and then uh, Spike eats a super kick from Chuck, and then a Famouser uh, for the win. New tag team champions, Billiam and Chuckathy. Dude, Chuck had the little pigtail braids. <laughs> yeah, he should have put a hat on, like Jeff Hardy. <laughs> yeah, that dude, that haircut was crazy. And Ch- Billy and Chuck's gimmick at this point is that everyone is pretty sure they're gay. But Except they them. definitely say yes. they're not gay. Yeah, pretty much. And there's a there's an interview that kind of is also. It, it, you're right. That's the whole gimmick. Because even when like, which is weird that they even went as far as to go to the wedding angle. But I guess that the wedding angle was good because they're gonna get married and they're like, we don't, we're not, we're not gay. What the we're, hell? Not gay. <laughs> we're not gay. We're not gay at all. Sure. What's going on here? <laughs> Why are we even here? How'd you set up this wedding? We didn't agree. So uh, before we get to the Billy and Chuck promo part. We get to uh, Stone Cold and Scott Hall backstage again. They go backstage. Scott Hall is still not doing anything but rolling around in his chair all night. Yes. Um, Stone Cold comes across a sign. It's an engineering sign. He goes, engineering? I can't take that. I don't have a college degree. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, even... I for, oh, I, I for, I'm glad I wrote this down because I would have completely forgot. Just before that, they when it cuts into the, the segment... He's wheeling Hall around, like down this hallway, and he says, You want me to sing you a song? You like music, don't you? It ne- he never. Why did he? Why did, why did he say this? What, he never sings him a song. It never comes up again. He's just talking, <laughs> bro. It, he's just talking. He's just Stone talking Cold, shit. He's just talking, and no one giving him anything back. And Scott Hall can't talk this whole night, so it's just Stone Cold going. <laughs> yeah, I got that. I get a college degree. What? <laughs> What? It, they stop at maintenance. He says, "Oh, that, that's the stop." And they wheels him into this cage. And he says, "Oh," and there's a uh, a light at the top, and he 
He puts the hole in it. He says, oh, look, it's a spotlight. You're a big star. And he plays with a hair again. Stupid little ponytail. Makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sick. The pipe drops. So <laughs> That was later. <laughs> no, that happens in this one, too. There's a pipe drop here, too? Yes, there's a pipe drop oh. right when he goes, you want to be a big star, huh? You got the spotlight, oh. yeah? Because I wrote, and, I definitely wrote that for the dude, one later. the next time, they pipe drop twice in the same second. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> um, Austin said, you're a piece of cheese. You're the bait. Your little friend's going to look for you because they like you. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> when your friends get here, they're gonna say hello to my little friend. What? Just sit there and shut up. Thank you. <laughs> Jim is Austin talking to himself. Uh, so then we get to the Billy and Chuck promo part. They're just so happy to win the tag team titles. Yes. Uh, the APA comes up and Bradshaw goes, "So you guys are supposed to be gay or what? What's the, what's yeah. your gimmick here? I don't really know you what's going gay? on. Yeah, are you cool. guys gay or no? <laughs> what's, what's and then like, no, no. Dude, we're they're good. like, all right, like, well, you're you guys want to kiss or something? You want to hug? No, we're yeah. good, man. We're, we just already You guys can that. go get your freak on, you know, that you won, because you're gay. We're like, no, we're <laughs> no, not. We're not gay. Totally not gay at all, dude. <laughs> Thinking back, this gimmick actually was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are gay? I mean, no, dude. So after that, we go back to the backstage, and wow, my God, Hogan and, and, and Kevin Nash, Nash finally found yes. Scott Hall. They are looking for, holy shit, let me see this outfit. <laughs> Is this like a Daryl outfit? I think it's like a, yeah, it's a tie-dye Daryl Big Daryl wow. hoodie. Wow, he's really that's pretty fucking win, awesome, huh? actually. Yeah, that's dope. Um, yeah, Hogan and Nash are looking for Scott Hall again. They find him, and Scott is, you know, he's got tape over his mouth, trying to <laughs> warn them. And Nash drops the pipe, drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> Austin attacks him, locks him in the cage. Uh, he steals Scott Hall away. He says, "Look at your little friend. He's going bye bye. <laughs> he's going bye bye. There's no way out. Get it." <laughs> Yeah, what? I love Stone Cold thinks he probably thinks the NWO just stands for no way out. He's like, we have the whole pay per view. What <laughs> NWO? What? Yeah, so he steals Hall once again. Uh, Stephanie McMahon comes out. She goes, "It's my time. It's my, my time. time." She gets so in she the ring. She still has it's my time, but Triple H doesn't. No, Triple H has got Which, his new one. He he's got you know I got you. She has yeah. it for a, a while too. I feel like I don't know when she changes to I'm all grown up now. When she comes GM, maybe is that when he changes it? Yeah, maybe. When when do we watch with Lesnar? Was that 2003? That would have been, I feel like that's a three, so that's not too far away. Yeah, I feel like her entrance music was different at that point. So, yeah, I feel like we're not too far away from that. <laughs> she gets in the ring and somebody throws popcorn at her. <laughs> you trash bag ho? Because yeah. Jericho comes out and says, uh, she ain't trash, hey, calm down, she ain't trash bag ho no more. She's all right. <laughs> so he says, before we watch Undertaker kick Triple H's ass tonight, I have an announcement to make. And it cuts to a sign in the crowd. <laughs> and this oh, sign. Oh, not this sign. This sign. I have no fucking idea what this guy was going for. It says HHH going vertically down the left side, and then it says, Steph, your, Y-O-U-R, game is over in each spot of the H's. So I don't know if this guy got the wrong message about how what HHH stands for. To but be I don't fair, think back that in the day, it. I did a sign just like that for Rob did Van you? Dam. I did, yeah, for Rob Van Dam, I did a sign uh, back when I was in middle school. Uh, yeah. We went to a one in Richmond, and I, we were really big on Rob Van Dam at the time. As you should be. Um, and we did a sign. I think we wrote, like, RVD, WWF, SmackDown, but it was, like, all, <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't, like, in a row. See, it was just, like... I went... That's... <laughs> I mean, I, oh, I would have been funny, Oh, here's what too. we did. Um, okay. I'll show it on the screen for the... Oh, you can't shit. see it here, but I'll show it on the okay. screen. Okay. Um, it, it says RVD, but then it goes Rob Van Dam down, so it looks like RVD, OA, BNM, WWF. <laughs> Do you still have that? You have the picture? Yeah, I still have the picture. No, no, no. no. I'm trying to show it on the screen, but I don't think my camera's going to catch it. Um, All right, that's fine. Um, But yeah, it's a great picture. I went to a house show one time, and my dad and I made a sign. Uh, It was a Triple H sign, (laughs) but it was an anti-Triple H sign. It said, uh, it had HHH down the side, but it said, Hunter's Huge Honker, and it had a nose drawn on it. I got it to work. Oh, you got it? Yeah, you can see a little bit. Wait, where yes. am I looking? It's scuffed. You can't see it. They can see it. Oh, okay, okay. On Patreon. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, true, true, true. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I was trying to show it to them, but yeah, it's real scuffed. We were young that's, and whatever. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Right, young, cool. This is how it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Chris Jericho interrupts. Um, of course, the Stephanie. Guy and, shirt. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking, this is like peak Chris Jericho stuff here. What a look. He's got the Guy Fieri shirt shit on. He's got the pants. He's got the, the dip hair. The dip he's, dye. Just looking good, man. He just looks incredible with uh, the both and, belts know. too. 
Yeah, NBA Twitter definitely would not have roasted him back then. <laughs> no, he looked cool as fuck here. Nowadays, I don't know. That's a little yeah. different story. Yeah. Um, he's the undisputed champion. He does his entire fucking entrance here. I mean, all, this is a promo. He does his entire fucking entrance here. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I love the story of him winning the undisputed title. He's like, I went to the hotel and I ate food in the room by myself. <laughs> yeah, and, and nobody was there to congratulate me after the match. <laughs> that was a really good story. I like that. That sucks. Um, Jericho said, I never really meant all those things. You remember, Stephanie, I called you disgusting dirty disgusting trash bag but you know what stephanie i never meant any of those things i was just you saying that to get a rise out of these people and now that i'm champion i see you for exactly what you are and that is a brilliant calculating conniving genius which of course leads to our favorite chant slut slut <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crowd did not buy this at all she didn't even do anything she did nothing wrong <laughs> Jay Lawler said, yeah, yeah, you say it. You go, you tell it. <laughs> and Stephanie says, uh, I will ensure that you never, ever lose that title. We should be more than friends. Let's Whoa. be business partners. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Tim White said, can I look at your ass? <laughs> yeah, let me see your asshole, please. Yeah, so yeah, Stephanie and Jericho get out of the ring because they're going to go on commentary. This is another show that I had to watch this week with Jericho on commentary, and it was both good, so it's okay with me. They, it's, Stephanie is sitting on the apron. Tim White comes over and like helps her get off the apron, and I think he kisses her hand. And then he definitely looks at her ass, and then Jericho walks by him, and Tim White winks at him. Like, what the fuck do I not know here about Tim White? <laughs> Tim White was taking liberties with Stephanie at this point. Yeah, I was like, what's here? happening here? It's a little rusty. Also, what the hell was Stephanie's announcement? Uh, I think her announcement was going to be that she fucking hates Triple H. Was the announcer that she's going to make sure Triple H doesn't win? Was that all it was? Yeah, I think it was just going to be something, something uh, like that. Okay, fair enough. Much. So we go into the main event, which is Triple H versus Undertaker. And I have to say, this is probably... One of the best main events oh, I've shit. ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> this, I mean, in terms of, if you're going to go back in there, I mean, now that Undertaker's career is over, I don't, I mean, I imagine Triple H will have another match, but if you go back in the history of uh, pro wrestling uh, with these two, I mean, they've had Mania matches together, uh, multiple Mania matches together. They've had other pay-per-view matches together, even against other opponents. In terms of just pure quality, I don't know if you can find a better match than this one with these two. Yeah, this is easily, I mean, psychology-wise, yeah, there's a lot moving for it. It's here. real smart stuff, too. So Triple H walks out to his not-my-time music. Not-my-time. Uh, Triple H walks over to the table, and he grabs some water, and then spits it on Stephanie and Jericho. <laughs> right in their face. Remember, Jericho is the undisputed champion at this point, not <laughs> Triple H. He is the top guy. So Jericho then goes to attack Triple H. And then Triple yes. H proceeds to whoop his ass <laughs> Jericho for five had to jump straight on him. minutes. <laughs> Jericho had to jump on him, and he got beat up. <laughs> he got his shit destroyed. Not only did he get beat in uh, uh, face to face, Stephanie got in the way, and Triple H had to stop because he was like, "I, you know, I don't want to beat up my wife." And he's like, "Yes, I do." So he's about to hit the pedigree, <laughs> pedigree on Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Jericho attacks him from behind. And then Triple H whoops his ass anyway. <laughs> he feeds him up some more and clotheslines him into the crowd. And then right as he clotheslines him into the crowd, keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. What? So Undertaker then decides halfway through this ass beating, he said, I think I'm going to come out here we can have that I match. guess it's my time. So he comes out on the motorcycle through the same hole that Stone Cold barrel rolled through earlier during the entrance. <laughs> it looked he like a, uh, it was a, definitely a lower motorcycle than usual. He was low he to the looked, ground. This, this big evil look is so goaded. Like, it's he incredible. He looks fucking so cool. He looks cool really cool. What fucking nickname Big Evil is, by the way? Yeah, this was a great run for him. Yeah. Uh, so he comes out, and he's like, I'm going to come have this match. So he gets off the motorcycle. He parks it. He gets up on the apron. He get, Triple H punches him. He gets back <laughs> off, puts his glasses back on, and then rides the motorcycle <laughs> right out of the arena. <laughs> Music, the music never stops playing <laughs> this whole time. He puts the, the glasses music plays back the whole on time. He, play, he gets bumped off the apron and he says, you got that. And he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> he just drives away. Rides that shit right back There's out. There's no event. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Big Evil has done the damn thing. I can't Hell believe yeah. it. Hell yeah. That's uh, that's probably one of my most remembered looks for whatever reason uh, for Undertaker. Maybe it's the just bandana the red and the hoodie. Bandan yeah, and the hoodie. And the red hoodie yeah. is always something I always remember. That's how I dress well. it now. <laughs> just big evil right now <laughs> 20 years fucking later <laughs> hey man it still holds up uh, so then after that we get the ending segment of the show which is Stone Cold talking to himself some more <laughs> even though Scott Hall's tape has been ripped off Austin is still just talking to himself 
So Scott uh, Scott Hall's getting his ass whooped backstage. Stone Cold uh, rips the tape off his mouth. And then as he rips the tape off, I'm like, is this even Scott Hall? Who is this guy? It does not <laughs> it look, look like Scott Hall. It looks like an imposter. Yeah, like it was like uncanny. It was real fucking weird. Anyways, he loads him into the back of the truck. What? The back of the pickup. What? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, he knocked he knocked Hall onto the floor and he stares down and he says, Help, I fall and I can't get up. What? And stops on him. <laughs> Stone Cold, he's not even trying to put coherent sentences together anymore. No, he's, he's just looking saying, for reasons to just say memeing. what. He's memeing. This is a big meme guy. Just shit posting in real life. Yeah. So Stone Cold throws him in the back of the truck. They come out to the arena. Stone Cold gets out. He throws the Broken Skull cooler <laughs> full of beers into the ring. God, I uh, would love to have one of those. I don't even drink beer. I one I, of those. I, I, yeah, we were talking about that. That fucking cooler we should, is dope as hell. We should look into that. You know, yeah, you know, it's right, off right. the record. Don't Take listen. Gimmick streets, yeah. Uh, yeah Scott so. Hall then took a bump in the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> and then Stone Cold. The, the whole thing was a rib on Scott Hall being a drunk. <laughs> This, this is entirely just fucking on him for being a drunk. Like, not even, like, not even, like, a, a, just like a tongue in cheek thing. It's like, I'm going to whoop this drunk's ass and then I'm going to pretend he doesn't drink. What? What? <laughs> he drags Hall into the ring. He hits Hall with a beer. And then he gets on the mic and says, Hey, yo, what? I said, Hey, yo, what? <laughs> 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 Tremendous. This was just, yeah, this was just Vince being like, big middle finger, you know, fuck all yeah. this. You guys ain't fuck shit. You. you left me, you pussy. Now you're going to pay. Uh, Take a beer. Oz says, yeah, I thought we'd drink a beer. What? A cerveza, a brewski, a Steve Weiser. A Steve Weiser. As he gets further in, he just stops being coherent at all. Steve Weiser. Uh, he says, you ain't thirsty, you cost me the title, and now you don't want to drink a beer with Stone Cold? You hurt my feelings, what? You make me feel bad. <laughs> Melancholy. <laughs> Why did he say that? I don't know. I want to cry. What? I want to cry. <laughs> and then I wrote, Austin is taking liberties with this promo. <laughs> Dude, he is. And Scott can't say anything. He was probably told, don't say anything. Just let Stone yeah. Cold go off on a tangent. He goes, you drunk? What? You got a buzz? <laughs> what? You don't feel you good? You got to go to rehab? What? You want to go to arrest again? <laughs> yeah, DUI? what the fuck, yeah. dude? <laughs> Gonna ruin your life? Ruin your career? <laughs> what the hell? You gonna go to TNA? What? Yeah. <laughs> gonna like, punk what? out? <laughs> Bro, you <a> punk. <laughs> And then this is the I, I know the Hogan thing the what thing on the side of the car was the, you said was the funniest what? thing but I think this next <laughs> thing that Austin does is so fucking hilarious he says well I'm gonna kick this son of a bitch every time you say what <laughs> and then the crowd just keeps saying what and he keeps he stops him so many times and then after stopping him like 20 times he says I keep kicking him but I don't want to wear out a good shoe <laughs> He punches me because that's my drinking hand. What? Yeah. Damn it, that's my drinking hand. <laughs> Hogan and Nash are still trapped backstage. And Austin, he says, you know what? I'm tired of whooping your ass. Let's drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott goes, okay. <laughs> so he gives him a beer. And he just stuns him. <laughs> he and stuns Scott him. And Hall does a great sell, and not only that, but his chain lands in his mouth. <laughs> it's incredible. It is a top tier <laughs> stunner here. Just incredible. Stone Cold God. did not give that same regard. No, no, <laughs> when no. Scott not gave at him all. the stunner. He said, "Piss off." <laughs> <laughs> and Austin uh, puts his watch to his ear. He listens to his watch, and he goes outside the ring, and he gets the spray paint from inside of his car. He gets in the ring, and the ch crowd chanting three sixteen. 316. I thought he were going to write what on his back. I don't know what. They're smarter than I am because I wouldn't have thought it was Yeah, I thought he was going to spray paint NWO style for life. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's going to spray paint alcoholic, drunk, <laughs> bastard. Go to TNA. <laughs> you're punked out and you're a punk. What? <laughs> Waste of life. <laughs> Eric Young, get on down here. What? <laughs> Steve was taking all night. I thought at some point Scott was going to get one up on him. He didn't. Yeah, anything. Like, he didn't. And then at WrestleMania, still going to beat the brakes off of him. Yeah, he whipped his ass. <laughs> uh, he spray paints 316 here. on Hall's back, and everyone's happy, and the show goes off the air. So I uh, I found, I read this after. Uh, during the scene, between uh, the, the beginning one, where he was like tied up to the chair, and Austin like poured beer on him. Uh, supposedly, that was filmed at like 2 or 3 a.m., and Hall had, they did the duct tape over his mouth because he was on antibus, which is like, uh, I guess when you're, you know, you're trying to fucking stop drinking that you get prescribed this, yeah. uh, to stop fucking drinking. Um, it's like a counseling thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so 
any beer touching his mouth would make him violently fucking sick. Uh, even the smell of it would like make him sick. So Scott was like getting violently sick. Just yeah, that's, the that's smell like, of that, that story shit. is crazy, man. Which is uh, leads to even more proof that they were fucking with this dude so hard because he like surely he said, "Hey, maybe I mean maybe Scott Hall's a trooper and he said, oh, we'll just do it.' But yeah. maybe someone should have said, "Hey, maybe don't do this." <laughs> maybe I mean, to be a, fair to Scott, he was never like he was never a cha- like a world's champion, but no, he did. Anything ever yeah. you asked him to do, so like that's a that's a good. This also, good yeah, I that. mean, they did that whole angle in WCW where his gimmick was "I'm drunk forever for and life." They did it in WWE, yeah. <laughs> NWO for yeah, life, drunk they style. They did it in TNA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did it everywhere. Yeah, you're right. He's never ha- after that. That's the only gimmick he ever had. Forever drunk. drunk guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, this was a fun episode of SmackDown. It was. Yeah, Tony I mean, actually picked this. I think too. I'm sad he wasn't yeah, here to talk about it with. It's us. a shame. Yeah. So uh, Tony, go to hell or France. <laughs> Same difference. 